Hey coach, this is Bryce with Synergy, and today I'm here to show you the new text overlay features in Synergy Editor. So what you're looking at on my screen is some of the new text overlay stuff that I threw onto one of my clips in my custom edit uh, rocket break examples. You can tell that I've got some overlay um, over here because these little blue flags represent text overlay on a particular clip. This one also has a trim, so there's a red one. And obviously there's a lot of stuff going on on this particular image. I just wanted to throw a bunch of stuff on the screen real quick so you can kind of see some of the stuff that you can do. Um, what you'll see that's new are stickers. So a little bit related to play diagramming or just getting some extra things on there like a ball or a cone. Um, you'll see the uh, player numbers, player with the ball, defense, and so on. There's also play diagramming lines that we've installed. So if it's important to you to have your dribble line or your cut line or your screen line, um, we've added those in there for you, as well as some ways to sort of customize that as you're working through your presentation or your edit. So what I'd like to do before we dig into this particular um, clip of mine is just kind of go through each of the options that have been added in. So I'm going to go to a fresh clip down here. Okay, so the main thing you have to understand is you need this text overlay menu open to actually work with text overlay. If you don't have it opened and say you're watching some video, there is a nice feature that I don't think a lot of coaches understand or realize is as you click on this video, boom, I can actually click and draw right away. And in a few seconds, it'll go away. Think about it like a chalkboard mode. We call it telestration, but the idea is that you can quickly say, hey, I wanted you to drive this way. I wanted you to drive middle. And you're just teaching and showing kids as you go. But if you know that something you want to do is permanent, that's where you'll want to go ahead and open the text overlay menu. So if I work back to you know, the part of the video where I want to represent something with my text overlay, I can pause it. And then from here, I can open up this text overlay menu. And so now I'll show you some of the examples um, of what these specific tools are. Okay, so the first one and one of the more obvious ones would just be your text box. So when I click on my text box, that means I have it selected and I can now click and drag my text box up here. And I can go ahead and type in anything I need. Eyes up and I can then deselect. So now I've got my text box up here. Doesn't really look how I want it. I want to manipulate that a little bit. I can click on it and now I can drag it just to kind of get more of the size I want. And maybe I want to do something else like change the outline color and change the fill to maybe that. And I also want to, you know, work a little bit with the, um, you know, where the text is sort of sitting in the box. I can go to properties um, and then move it to sort of the middle there. Okay, so that's a quick example of how you can work that. I can change the opacity if I want that a little bit thicker or lighter um, in the background, darker or lighter, I should say. And then I can put it wherever I want, so maybe I want it right here. So now I've got that text box on my screen. I can change the default settings for all my text box by clicking on the toolbar, uh, right click specifically on that properties and then change it to whatever I want. Um, we'll go like a black that's like a, you know, 30% or something. So the next time I create one, it'll have that as the default sort of setting. Okay, so that's text box. You've also got these play diagramming tools. So I've got my cut line. So this particular player on that drive, I really want her to make sure she's cutting to the corner. There you go. And that line, I want it behind the text box. I can right click on it, go to order and hit send back. There you go. So now we can still see the eyes up for this particular kid is here, but also showing this cut, this trace in behind that we want to show as well. And one thing to keep in mind is all the lines will default to straight, but there is a little red dot that you can change to give a curve to it. Or an angle. Now, if you'd like it to be an angle, you'll need to right click on it, go to properties, and then you can choose the angle instead of the curve. And you can see right there, it'll be more of an angle. And if you just want it straight, just draw it straight and you'll be good to go. You can see there's the ability to pause different text overlay items on frame, show for a duration, or show for the whole clip. You can also see you can change the outline um, of your lines to make it, you know, a certain color or a certain thickness. You can also go up here and if you wanted to change something from, say you chose cut, but you're really meant to choose um, pass, you can change it right from this menu right here. Um, you can add a second arrow head at the end, uh, take one off on the front, and basically use this grid to customize the line, however, is relevant to what you're trying to do. Okay. Uh, similarly, we've got your screen. And then what I can do is right click, go to properties. If I want it to be an angle again, I can change it to an angle. So here, I wanted you to go here. And we're going to get down here and screen like that. I wanted that cut for some reason. And that's how you can do that. One thing that's kind of nice is if you like the idea of just having a predetermined cut line, sorry, curved and angled, you can actually go to this library here and add anything that's custom 
uh, for you. So you can go screen and then when I, it's actually added it for me right here. And now I can go to properties and make sure that I've always got an angle. So on this one over here, I go to that property, I can change it to curve, but now I have two different ones for curve and for angle. And in a future release, we're gonna make it so you can actually move these around so they're right next to each other. For now, if you do any customization of the toolbar, you do have to add them in the order you want them to show up down here. So keep that in mind. But obviously there's also passes and there's the handoff if you wanna get a little handoff action in. So you can do a lot of the you know play diagram that you're used to doing and um, some other applications that are out there right on top of your video, um, you know, if it's helpful for you in terms of the way you're presenting to your, your players and your staff. So uh, we'll jump ahead a little bit, get rid of some of that overlay. You can see there's a basic line tool. So if you wanted to just draw a line straight down the court there, do another one straight down the court there, kind of like I did earlier. And you want to add a little text in there to just designate like what that's called. Like you can certainly do that. There's also a circle tool. So if you wanted to quickly, you know, highlight a specific player and maybe emphasize them in some way, you can do that. You can also do that with a rectangle. So you want to recognize, you know, this specific area down here as you know, something that's relevant to something on the scout or what have you, you can do that. However you wanna manipulate it, you can do that. We've also got these new spotlights in here. So I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit again. And when I click on spotlight, I can actually draw an ellipse around a player to help me sort of identify that kid when I'm doing my presentation to my players or my staff, um, or you're just teaching to a kid separately, you know, privately talking about, you know, hey, focus right here. Let's talk about this situation. Um, one thing that's kind of nice is when you select the ellipse or, or the oval, you can right click on it and you can actually go into the properties. And if you just want it to be the oval underneath without the cone above, you can do that as well. So, and again, you can, you know, change the fill. Maybe you want it to be a certain color. You can do that just to make it stand out a little bit better. That's a pretty cool new tool we've added. We've also got images. So if you want to add like headshots of players on a scouting report and then add some text under them with a few stats or something, you can do that. And then we've got these stickers right here. So stickers, um, I've actually got mine undocked up here already. Um, basically, the idea is that if you wanted to add some cones, you could do that. There's a cone. And you have to select each time you want to add it. And you can resize them. You can change the color. You can move them to the front or the back if you want them sitting on top of other lines and so on and so forth. Maybe you want to add an X one right here to talk about you know the, this particular player um, you know in this in this position that we need to focus on. And then obviously you've got all your player numbers you can add if you want to do some additional diagramming or talk about drills or plays or things like that. And again, you can you can change the sizes as you go. So something that's pretty neat and could be potentially helpful. So um, we'll go ahead and um, show this one as well real quick. There's also this arrow line here. So I found this one over here in this menu. There's a couple in here that don't show up on the default, which one of them is this arrow line. So basically it's just like, if you really want to highlight something, maybe there's a ref that you weren't super happy with, boom, hey. There you go, I'm sending that to my assigner, right? <laughs> so basically just a quick and uh, dirty way to get a big arrow that's really showing, hey, let's look at this. Okay, so again, keep in mind, you can customize this overlay toolbar down here. If you wanna have it in a specific order, for now you have to add them in the order you want. Um, you can remove things as well by right-clicking. If you don't ever think you're gonna use circle, right-click, remove. And you have duplicates, right-click, remove. You can also rename something. If you don't wanna call it screen line, you wanna call it the purple cut line. There you go. Purple cut line. Uh, when you hover, you see that. And I can go properties and I can change it to a cut. And I can make it purple. There you go. So now I have my purple cut line. Boom. Good to go. This particular one has the curve, but again, I can switch it to angle right there or keep it straight. So yeah, that's a quick over, um, overview on text overlay. Uh, for me, I've got the rail, alley, main street all sustained right here on this particular one, just because I want to recognize did my kids actually you know, cut the way they need to cut. Full transparency, when I say my kids, these are not actually my players, but you get the gist. Um, you can use the fast forward frame buttons to quickly get to the exact frame where a bunch of your um, pause on frame text overlay is at. So in this particular situation, I've done just that. And again, I'm showing, hey, I want this kid cutting out to the rail. I want this kid cutting out to the rail. And then I only want, you know, the, the point card in the alley. And then I hit play. The stickers go away. The lines go away. Everything else I have set to sustain. So when I right click on it and you can see right there, show for full clip. 
that's what I've done in that specific situation. So hopefully that helps. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. Let us know if there's anything that we can do to improve it and keep us posted how we can help. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.